Installing Ubuntu along with Windows is really easy. All we have to do is follow some specific steps. So today I'm gonna show you every single steps that you need to do for installing Ubuntu. So try to follow every single steps very carefully. Firstly, you have to download Ubuntu from ubuntu.com. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download your Ubuntu. I'm, here I'm gonna download Ubuntu 17 but you can also follow this video for Ubuntu 16, 14 or other version. Here I'm gonna use Windows 10 and uh, you can also follow this video for Windows, uh, other Windows like uh, 8, 7 or others. After downloading Ubuntu, you have to download Power ISO. So I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download uh, your Power ISO. Here I'm gonna download uh, Power ISO 64-bit as I'm using 64-bit operating system, 64-bit uh, processor. Uh, you can also, s oops, uh, I got a problem here. Uh, if you got same problem, you have to pause your production. Uh, um, antivirus protection so i have to pause my antivirus protection and then download power iso don't worry it's real fully safe you don't have to worry about it and after downloading you have to open it or install it so i'm going to install that power iso so hit install and after installing just close it now insert your uh, usb drive where you wanna what you gonna make a uh, bootable usb then uh, format this usb drive you can select ntfs or uh, whatever ntfs or fat and after formatting just uh, open your downloaded iso file and open it with power iso and uh, i have to wait four seconds as i'm using a uh, free version just and after that just hit tools then create bootable usb and then hit ok and again i have to wait four second and click that and after that select your usb drive and hit start and then ok so after making your bootable usb you can uh, check it here so after making bootable usb just hover over your win PC icon and click right button then manage and after that just select disk management and you can you have to make some unallocated space for installing your Ubuntu so I'm gonna take some shrinks volume from my C drive you can uh, take this space from other drive also I got only C drive here so I'm gonna take space from my C drive uh, I'll recommend you always recommend you to take almost 30 GB for your Ubuntu you can uh, take more it also also work if you take uh, 10 GB so as I'm using a virtual machine so I'm gonna use uh, 10 GB but I'll recommend you to take 30 GB at least 30 GB and after that just shrink then you will see this that black unallocated space so after doing that just uh, hit your windows button and restart your pc so after restarting make sure you enter your uh, usb and you will see something like that if you don't uh, see that you have to change your bias setting and make your usb drive as a uh, first boot priority your uh, to find out a way to get into the bios and uh, change these settings there are lots of there you will find lots of tutorial and uh, you can also search it google how to make that i'm not going to show you here just i'm going to tell uh, just i'm telling you you have to make usb as boot first priority so after that you have to select install ubuntu 
and make sure you select uh, download updates while installing ubuntu and install third party software for graphics and wi-fi and make sure you connect your internet but if you don't uh, if you can't uh, select that don't worry just leave it it's not a big deal here is the most important thing select something else you have to you have to select that something else don't select other thing any other thing just select something else and hey continue and after that here you will see your free space that you may that you made uh, here you can see i have uh, windows 10 and uh, 10 gb free space so i'm going to use that for installing my ubuntu here i'm going to use my ubuntu uh, install my ubuntu just select that free space then hit pass icon and i'm going to make uh, here uh, swap area so uh, i'm going to you make uh, one gb swap area uh, you can select uh, logical and select beginning of this space and hit ok but one thing i should uh, you should remember that if you got uh, more than 4 gb ram then don't make swap area you don't need to do that and if you are using ssd and uh, also if you are using a uh, hard drive then you should uh, take this swap area from your hard drive but if you got ssd only ssd no option you, you got no option then uh, try to give uh, less space to your swap area because uh, it can harm your uh, ssd so i'll recommend you to make uh, 1 gb if you have uh, 2 gb ram and if you have 4 gb ram just leave it if you have more than 4 gb ram you don't have to make swap area so after making swap area just hit ok and if you don't have to just leave leave it so after that select free space again and uh, hit plus icon select free space and hit plus icon and after that select primary and select beginning of the space and select ext4 journaling file system and from mount point select forward slash from mount point select forward slash and then hit ok so that's it you can also make uh, another partition for home but I'm not gonna make it uh, it will work fine if you don't make any space for home so make sure device from bootloader installation you select by default you'll see your uh, full hard drive selected device for bootloader installation so make sure you select full uh, hard drive and after that just install now okay, install now and uh, you can see your drive here swap and uh, ext4 so that's it after that select your area and hit continue and uh, select your keyboard layout and uh, hit continue and give your information password and hit continue so that's it after all of that so after that just restart hit restart now and it will restart your pc and if you see this message just remove your pen drive and hit enter and now you can see we have grab menu here ubuntu select just select ubuntu we can see ubuntu is just working fine uh, here in tt8 you can uh, let's check it's if it's working or not yeah it's working fine and uh, now restart again and let's check our windows 10 is working fine and from root menu just select windows 10 
yeah it's also working fine and now you have to format your usb so formatting your for formatting your usb just uh, open power so again and select tools and select clean usb drive and hit ok and continue unregistered and select your usb that you can see uh, it's uh, only showing it's only 2 mb so that select that usb and clean so that's it now just format your usb and you can select fat or ntfs whatever you like just hit start and ok uh, that's it now your uh, usb drive is uh, usb pen drive is fine so that's it for today if you got any question or any problem you can leave a comment below and if you want any tech videos from me you can also leave that in comment below i'll try to answer you and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one